Hello anybody and everybody and welcome to Let's Play The Outer Worlds. This is a, a game I have really been looking forward to and I'm just hoping is as good as I plan for it to be. I don't think it's going to be bad at all, thankfully. Um, audio, master, music. Okay, sorry, I'm just trying to see if I can do something with my stream. Okay, go to this. Put that there. The Outer Worlds. Okay. So that should have changed it. Make sure. Yay! Okay. So, The Other Worlds. This is a game by Obsidian. Uh, they have made a bunch of other games. They've made Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, one of the South Park games. Most famous game was probably uh, Fallout New Vegas. And then they also made a game called Pillars of Eternity. They're known for making really good. RPGs with in-depth characters and this is our next game that a lot of people have been looking forward to me included And I don't have much else. I'm gonna say about it. We're gonna get into this And play this game This game has oh Why stay earthbound when prosperity awaits you in the stars come to Halcyon the only colony on the edge of the frontier owned and operated by corporations. A trip of 10 short years will feel like mere minutes thanks to the comfort and safety of your very own hibernation chamber. You'll wake up in a perfect society designed to maximize your productivity with guaranteed full employment. With only a minor term of service, you will become the master of your own destiny when you go out of this world to the Halcyon Colony. Hope to be left at edge of colony. Phineas Vernon Wales, one of my housing for for crimes. <sighs> Hundreds of thousands of colonists left to drift out here forever just to keep from damaging the board's bottom line. Disgraceful. Uh... 
Long guns, handguns, lockpick, engineering. Next. Oh, wow, yeah. So I didn't know a lot going into this. I, det I made sure I didn't look up basically anything. And really glad I did that. I have two points. Oh, I get to choose. Okay, so we'll do... If we're dialogue. ever captured, I'll let you do the talking. If you wanted to steal Stealth. from the rich, you've come to the right colony. Aptitude. Okay, now before I continue, uh, this is going to be a very heavily based dialogue game. You get to create your character and everything, but you don't have a voice, so the dialogue is going to be me reading it, and there's going to be a lot of it, because this is an RPG, and it's like a kind of a spiritual successor to Fallout New Vegas. So expect lots and lots of dialogue. Now what is this? Colonist sounds like a nice entry level career for a person of your skills. Expanding plus one determination. Expanding humanity's reach by civilizing the cosmic frontier was ambitious enough without worrying about your day job. You have the rest of your life to decide how you would be how to be useful in Halcyon. Halcyon Colony needs good people, but it will settle for the ones who can mix a memorable drink. As a human cocktail shaker, you've made Oh, so this is what I was. It was like my job beforehand, or what I was going to be, one or the other. Oh. You made concoctions that could end wars or fuel skip drives. You're still trying to balance out the flavors of a truly signature old-fashioned, though. Drink effect duration, 3%. Bureaucrat universe operates on laws, and laws require paperwork. Halcyon is no exception. If something isn't stamped, filed, unfiled, referenced, redacted, certified, indexed, and numbered, then it might... As well, not exist. Birth certificates included. So I could read all of these. Uh, I'm going to stop at each one so you can pause it if you want to read them. So cashier, subgrade, non-supervisory. Construction, electric, electrician class, wire spooler. Elevator operations specialist. Factory worker, conveyor operator, farmer, dirt. Food additive tester, janitor, toss ball team mascot inspiration, medical technician junior grade, No one can see you cry inside of a mascot suit. You know what they say, say cleanliness is next to lawfulness. No signs of monsterism. Hmm, lucky you. It'll be a miracle if you make anything grow. You must have had a vivid imagination. Not much risk of injury in this profession. Someone has to spool the wires, I suppose. I can be reasonably sure you know how to add and subtract. Ah, pencil pushing. A noble profession. <coughs> you were going to help us drown our sorrows. I'd say your aptitude is being incredibly lucky. Maybe you can do something about this uh, lump in my neck. I didn't know they trained safety inspectors anymore. Class A? Oh, right. Test subject. I bet you know how to spice up a Saltuna ration. Alright, let's do that. I'm gonna be a male. Face. Any of these actually look like me? 
I don't, <laughs> I don't expect any of them to. What was that one? That one looks more like me than anything. I'm kind of pale though, so. I don't want red eyes. Ooh, you can have pink eyes. Huh. I'll go for an average looking dude. Brow horizontal. Oh, sliders, man. Oh, hell yeah. What's brow forward? Oh, yeah. Probably should have assumed that. I big ass forehead is all I currently have. Mouth size, I don't really care about that. I have a pretty big nose. I'll leave the rest as it is. Hairstyle. What's more like my current hairstyle? Oh, hell yeah, this <laughs> is definitely my current hairstyle. Sadly, this, but I really don't want that. That's gonna be my future hair. Anyways, I don't want luscious locks, but and myself that black hair. I can't really grow much facial hair, so I don't want anything too fancy. Sorry, the eye colors are it's bugging me. There we go. What do you mean features? Oh. Scar. I was a scientist person, so I'd assume I didn't have a scar. Oh, I can make me old as shit. Nah. Customize your character. Don't be shy. Just gonna... Summary. Pretty good intelligence. Very charming. I'm probably gonna be a... Sniper stealth build, most likely. Which is why I chose long guns and then, you know these things even though my sneak isn't very good but yes this is me what the hell do you do looks to be your already today, my friend Phineas Likely bootlickers. <laughs> Initiate skip jump. What the hell are you doing with me, Phineas? You took me. You left. Or you, you left them. I was about to say you left me, but you didn't. Terra two orbiting. Oh, laboratory. Status. Structural integrity down twenty five percent. Our levels down. <sighs> Shit. Well, Phineas. God damn it. Ooh. How are you? Ah, 
there you are, wondering what's going on, eh? Bit of bad news there, I'm afraid. Your colony ship was inexplicably knocked out of skip space and forced to complete its journey at sublight speeds. This means that you and every other colonist on the Hope have been in suspended animation for 70 years, give or take. Normally, Jesus. reviving someone after so long leads to some quite horrifying results. It's called explosive cell death, but it's really more of a liquefaction. Something wrong? Oh, yes, well, not to worry. I've pumped your body full of a special concoction I devised to keep you from dying so horrifically. Hopefully at all, but uh, I guess we'll see, yes? Yeah? Unfortunately, I used the last of my chemical supplies saving you. I know it's a lot to ask, but I must have your help securing more if we're to save the rest of your fellow colonists. I'd see it done myself, of course, but the board has a sizable bounty on my head. Now, my ship is inoperative, but I've managed to hire a smuggler to help you out. He'll be... Oh, I see we're in position. Good luck! Where the hell are you sending me? Oh, God. I already tell him I love this game. Remember the hope. Chairman Rockwell raises a glass to our lost brothers and sisters. 60th anniversary of the hope's disappearance. Volume 65, issue number one. Come on, game. Can you hear me? Is this thing working? No. Ah, there you yes, are. Yes, it is. Now, uh, where were we? Oh, yes, the smuggler. His name is Hawthorne, and he should be waiting for you at the landing site. He's to be your uh, chauffeur, so to speak. And not to worry, I'm told he's a specialist. Dashing gunslinger, one-of-a-kind ship, that sort of thing. You'll like him, I'm sure. I've also outfitted you with a simple <sighs> wireless monitor, so I can track your progress. I'll check in with you as soon as you land. Good luck. I'm... Uh, all the colonists are counting on you. So this game... Obsidian is relying heavily on replayability because there's so many ways to play this. You can even do an idiot playthrough, which they did and I think Fallout New Vegas. But, um... And in the original Fallout games, it was an idiot playthrough. Or if you just gave your character really low intelligence... This game is strictly oh, first person. Good. Hawthorne should be close by. What in Law's name? Is that I landed on oh, him. That idiot. <laughs> I told him to plant the beacon and move away, not stand there holding it. Oh god, you oh, gotta well, be kidding no sense me. In letting his ship go to waste. Hawthorne won't mind you Emerald taking his Vail. ship. Better you than the board, huh? Not sure I trusted the fellow. Might have gone after the bounty on my head. Shame about the whole squashing thing. Nasty way to go. I need to see if motion blur is a thing. Timed fade, companion outlines. I don't think I need that right now. Because if I can turn off motion blur, I'm turning off motion blur. But I don't think I can. Which is really, really inconvenient. Alright. Well, I guess we'll make do. The game already looks gorgeous. Like, goddamn. It's not open world, so to speak, though. There's multiple worlds you can go to and each have their own area that's pretty large. But, it's not completely open world like what New Vegas was or anything. What the hell are you? Game does look good. Yep, figured it was going to be basic first-person shooter controls. Uh, what I've heard about the combat is it's like a mixture between Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 4's combat. Not as smooth as Fallout 4, but not as clanky as Fallout New Vegas. Sneak to avoid detection. I see you lost some legs, sir. Oh, God. I'm going to have to get used to the holding X thing. Guess in grass. Yep. The 
the awareness meter over enemies' heads tell you if they are unaware of your position. Suspicious, investigating, or alerted. Oh, that one's suspicious. I even suspect in the stealth. Damn game. Uh, that's not good. Easy now. You've been frozen for a while. There's bound to be unforeseen side effects. I think that's... It's a special ability, I'm pretty sure, that's in the game. That's basically this game's vats. Ow. I coughed. Oh, hello. I didn't hey, cough. You. you did. Come here. You've tried the best <laughs> now. Now try the rest. Spacer's choice. Oh, wow, that stings. Ah, oh, medical. Uh, sit still. I'll patch you up. Uh, looks like the bleeding stopped. I owe you one. Hope you don't mind me omitting this little exchange for my report. Spacer's choice doesn't like us accepting outside help. Fair enough. Uh, spacers, what? Oh, we're all part of the Spacers Choice family here. Not that I deserve to be. Can't even deliver a company slogan. We were out on patrol. I saw a marauder camp up in the hills. Thought I could take them. Then my gun misfired right through my sight. I mean, what are the odds of that, right? Just barely scraped by with my life. Crawled in here and blocked off the exit with those canisters. What's this about? Or, um, what's this about marauders? Or, what were you doing out here? Investigating an illegally grounded ship. All spacecraft must arrive and depart from authorized landing pads. That's board law, that is. Some hull had grounded their spacecraft out in the open. That's a real good way to attract marauders. See those canisters by the entrance? Marauders come sniffing around in here, and I can take them all out with a single shot. Not bad, huh? Persuade. I've got a better idea. Give me your gun, and I'll go get help. Yeah, okay. You look like you know your way around a gun. Got some spare ammo. Not counting the bullet in my side. Here, you can have my saber, too, for patching me up and Ooh. all. All Spacer's Choice weapons are now 30% less likely to malfunction. <laughs> You've tried the best, now try the rest. Spacer's Choice. Yes, nailed it that time. Can you tell me where I am? You hit your head or something? You're in Emerald Vale. We're a Spacer's Choice community. Edgewater's a little ways down. A pretty place in the Vale. Be sure to stop by a provisioner's for a can of our famous salt tuna. Now, if you're wondering why it's taking me a minute at these menus, it's because there's a delay between when I actually talk and when it goes through the stream. So I ha I'll have to say something, wait a second or two for it to go through, just so my actual... I haven't timed it perfectly yet, but just so my actual talking doesn't interrupt the dialogue of the game. Anyways, do you know anything about the Hope? The Hope? Is that some sort of fancy new drug? Are you with anti Cleo or something? Don't take this the wrong way or nothing, but I'm not allowed to fraternize with Cleo workers. Company policy. Okay, I'm off. And I could kill this dude. Like, you straight up just shoot him in the face if you wanted to. I'm not. Oh god, I gotta move something. Give me a second. So I got a saber for patching him up. That's pretty cool. Oh. 
Tactical time dilation. Due to complications stemming from being revived after an extended hibernation, your brain pot your brain processes time differently. Pressing the tactical time dilation (TTD) button slows down the world, giving you time to think as well as take action. You have limited time in this mode. Standing still drains your TTD meter very slowly, while moving in attacks will drain it faster. The TTD meter refreshes slowly over time. Press right bumper to use it. I'm on get you. I'm on get you. Well, didn't expect to smack that thing, so that's cool. Oh, hacking unlock. Oh fuck, I didn't read that. Anyways. Wrong button. So that fucked me up pretty badly. God damn. Oh. I got a staff. A telescoping staff. Fish sticks. <laughs> oh, I'm slowly regenerating health, so it is working. Okay. That's pretty useful. Hi. I was expecting there to be like, you know, a stealth kill thing. I was just wishful thinking, I guess. Oh, I could sneak past these guys, but Nope, nope. Ah, ah, I'm still crouched. Eh, I got. Oh, oh, shit. That was my aim over there. Okay, I'm done. I keep pressing the wrong button, too. Ooh, helmets. Let's see. Oh, I don't have a helmet. Okay. Seventy three. Oh, I can actually have four weapons equipped. And I did know this weapons do have durability in this. The basics. Basic movement. There was dodging. Double click the jump button to dodge left, right, or backwards. Oh, and there's a little cooldown on top left. You can see. Okay. This is an RPG, so going to be a lot of saving. This looks gorgeous, by the way. Are you bad? No. I don't think so. Hey! Get over here before you get yourself killed! Okay. Hi, you. Don't know where you came from, stranger, but you best keep your head down. There's marauders hereabouts, and worse, landing violators. Call on that rung leech! Landing in the veil without using an official Spacer's Choice landing pad. I'd slap him with a fine if it weren't for all these marauders shambling about. <laughs> you don't really need to do that. So I heard. I found one of your teammates holed up in a cave. Really? How is he?
He'll make it. I helped him with the pain. Shouldn't have done that. Spacer's Choice family ain't authorized to receive medical aid from off-brand physicians. We'll see him back to yeah, the floor. That's fine. Just as soon as I cross these marauders off with the swift, cost-efficient fury that's made Spacer's Choice the most trusted brand in personal defense, I just, you know, need a couple of winks to catch my breath. Stretch my legs some. Shit. Uh, do Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge? I right, said, so I bet you could get these Marauders to tell you where the owner of the ship is. Guess I'll have to give you a zero on my customer satisfaction survey. Uh, do Spacer's Choice guards back down from a challenge? Well, sometimes. Management's real good at cost-benefit analysis. But... Seeing as I'm the acting manager in this situation, you know what? You're right. It's time we cross those marauders off, find whoever owns that ship, and file a full report. Then it's gonna be fucking laminated. Here we go. Here we go. One of you, like, die so I get your weapon. Why did I miss, like, every shot of the... Whoa. Kimball died. <laughs> Give me... Give me all your loot! Who the hell are you? This is gonna take a lot of paperwork. Give me the giant ball on a stick. Oh. Oh. In fast travel locations, you have one life by opening your map. Contains no valuable plunder. Marauder, please be informed that ignoring me is dangerous for your health. Unauthorized but I'm not a marauder. vessels is a crime. Hello, Marauder. I am Ada, the autonomous digital astrogator of this vessel. Please be informed that I am authorized to use violent retribution against unwanted solicitors. Please return any misappropriated equipment and exit this vessel in an orderly fashion. Failure to do so will result in your immediate destruction. What are you going to do? Self-destruct? Jettison procedures initiated. Disengage in airlocks. Prepare to eject all foreign parties in five. Fuck. Four, <laughs> three, two, one. <laughs> you realize we're on the ground, right? You are still here. My deception protocols have failed. I have been programmed to express disappointment. Is this Hawthorne ship? This vessel is the registered property of Captain Alex Hawthorne. I am incapable of accepting orders from anyone other than Captain Alex Hawthorne. Uh, Hawthorne was supposed to meet me when I landed. I deduce from the tone of your voice that Captain Hawthorne failed to meet you at the designated location. Hawthorne's dead. I understand. I will require some time to process this information. Thank you for your patience and for your honesty. I am programmed to take orders exclusively from Captain Hawthorne. If I accept your orders, then you must be Captain Hawthorne. Do you understand? <laughs> I get it. You need me to be Captain Hawthorne or you can't fly. Well done, Captain uh. Hawthorne. I see your powers of deductive reasoning remain intact. Unfortunately, our engine is currently inoperable. Our main drive suffered a critical power failure, and we were forced to make an emergency landing. 
The main drive's power regulator has been irreparably damaged and must be replaced. Doubt I'll find a part like that just sitting in a garage. Astutely observed. However, the probability of locating a power regulator within a worker settlement falls within acceptable parameters of certainty. High capacity power regulators are sometimes employed in the electrical networks of worker settlements. I have taken the liberty of printing you a new captain's identity cartridge. Please try not to lose it this time. This cartridge identifies you, Alex Hawthorne, as the registered proprietor and captain of the unreliable. Do you understand? Yes, yeah, Ada, I got it. Thanks. Best of luck in your search for a power regulator. Try to stay alive this time. Ah, fuck, I forgot to turn off my alarm. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Uh, give me a second. Oh, uh, yeah, I know, I leveled up. Cool. A uh, clock. Is that the only alarm I had set? Apparently one for 1 p.m. Really? I just uh, forgot to turn off all but one. Cool. Congratulations! You gained enough experience to go up a level. Open your character ledger to advance your character. Leveling up increases your health points, give you, gives you points to upgrade your skills, as well as gives you access to a new perk every other level. Keep leveling and you'll be upper management material in no time. Every time you level up, you earn skill points to spend on improving your skills. Spending a skill point on a core skill, melee, improves all of the specialized skill in that group up to a maximum of 50. After 50, you can add points directly to specialized skills up to 100. Every skill improves as it grows, but special unlock bonuses carry every 20 points. Read each skill description to see what they are. Armor consumables and status effects can temporarily raise and lower your skills. This helps or hurts skill checks. And the skill's passive bonuses, but won't give or take away the skill unlocks. Okay. Level up my stealth. What's this bottom one? Leadership. Two into that, and then one in the melee. Dialogue combat skill. When attacking a correct type of target, they are automatically debilitated. Perks. Eh, perks should be pretty easy to find out. 50% base health. Damage when alone, walk speed, sprint speed, painting crit chance. You can already unlock the ability to fast travel when over encumbered. That is pretty useful. All right, well, this is the ship in the game, I'm guessing. So I know there Due is a ship. Oh, captain's quarters. Failure, all doors will remain uh. on security lockdown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shut up, Ada. Oh, how Say, you doing, Mercer? This wouldn't happen to be your ship, would it? Because you sure walked in it like it was your ship. And if this ship is yours, well, mister... You owe Spacer's Choice a hefty fine. I'm afraid we gotta dock your pay. <laughs> Lie, five. Do I have a chance of getting this? I don't know. I can't save. You've got it all wrong. I'm a Starship Safety Inspector. Oh, by the law. I'm so sorry. I had no idea we had an inspector coming. If you'd like to speak with my manager, I'd report to Constable Reyes in Edgewater. Edgewater's not too far. Just follow the road east of here, over past the cemetery. Now, if you'll excuse me. 
I need to inspect the crime scene before I make my report. Take care. <laughs> oh, man. People are idiots. So is this the... Uh, map. This is a little beginning area, I'm guessing. I don't know how much of this... From what I read, this first area could take anywhere from one hour, like an hour and an hour and a half, to like four hours to beat. Primal Brute. Primal Ravager. Huh. This isn't good. Ah! I shouldn't have done this. <laughs> I missed like all of those shots. I killed something. Oh, you're actually a muffler. That's pretty cool. I don't know what's going on. This thing is a behemoth and I didn't realize that when I started attacking. But I killed it! That was not worth all the ammo and everything I spent doing that. That's cool. So you can eat food at least. That's good. Okay. I want to see what's in here. Hopefully no more big badass behemoths are going to destroy me in like two hits. Got more hide. I don't know what's going to be here. If anything. Primal Hunter. I don't like that. That doesn't sound nice. Let me smack you with this giant club. Sleep? Is that a good. Oh, it heals you! You can only rest in your bed on your ship. Oh, that's terrible. On the supernova difficulty, not on this, obviously. So I just rested. Earrings. I don't know what those things are yet. Ooh, an assault rifle. I will take... Oh, fuck. I will take that.
I got nothing but helmets right now. Oh, I look dope. Not really, but I didn't say I do. Hunter kit? I don't have a lot of ammo for this, huh? I keep forgetting you have to actually press A on it. The combat's alright, I just gotta get better at the aiming and everything, and it might be the sensitivity. Uh, let's see... If I just... Let's turn it down a bit. I don't know if that's gonna help or hurt. But we'll find out soon enough. Already, yeah, I already looted you. I didn't loot you. Heavy ammo. Oh, that's what I need for the assault rifle. Did it say Vulcan? It does say Vulcan. <laughs> This place got messed up. Oh, another assault rifle. My inventory is going to get full here pretty quickly. Uh, well, I guess we'll run away? Might as well go to that other place that it wants me to. Don't worry, I got my giant ball. <laughs> I do like it so far. It's pretty much as a, even though I've only, it's only been, ooh. <laughs> that worked out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Where'd you go? Oh, you're over there. No, face. Sorry. Still don't know what a bit cartridge is. Is that what it's called? I don't know. Weapon parts. Looted you already, right? Yeah. It looks pretty, and, and this is what I was talking about with mo the areas. I'm pretty sure most of, if not all, is that saying my pistol is about to be broken? That's at sixty-eight percent. Like, I got two more, so. <laughs> Anyways, um. Pretty sure most of the areas, or all of them, are just like. Kind of big, regular areas. But, uh. None of the thing is open world. The entire game's not open world, so you don't have access to every bit of the planet. Each planet you go to. Ooh. Oh, those are sleeping things. Can it? No, stop that. Ugh, things explode. Jesus. I mean, I can loot this grave. No. I put a shovel in a grave and then tell me I can't loot it. The hell's wrong with you, game? Hmm. 
what's over here? And I should probably go to that area, but like, come on, man, exploration. The freaking RPG. Oh. I don't know. I don't think I can go any further actually on that ship right there. Oh, a little water. And this game is only first person, I'm pretty sure. I don't know when you see your character's face for the fact that, I mean, except in this menu. That's why I unequip the helmet, you can see my face. So other than that, I don't know when you'll see your character's face. But it is only combat-wise first person. Which I know made a lot of people skeptical at first. Because yeah, Fallout New Vegas was first person, but you could also play it third person. I don't personally know anyone that ever did play it third person, but you could. It's a lot of graves. Where's that shovel? Come in handy right now. Hello. I was not expecting that to open. Oh. Another shovel. Is there someone here? No. Let's be stealthy then. What is this? Bit cartridge. That's what it's called. A bypass shunt. Uh, avoid being seen if you want to engage in those activities without consequences. Pretty sure I'm hidden right now. It didn't say anything about trespassing. I think we're good. Oh, another door. Anyone in here? No. Pet pills. Do I want to pick that? Nah. Oh! Edgewater, Saltuna, Cannery. Spacious Choice Property, Terminal Access. Welcome, Junior Inhumor. From Inhumor's Association. To Spacers Choice Junior Inhumor, Emerald Vale Division. Subject to special offer. Dear reader, your subscription to the Inhumor's Association newsletter has expired. We'd like to invite you to renew your subscription. Act now and we'll throw in a copy of our newest publication, Shovels, Gazette, and Quarterly. Human Resources to Junior and Humor, Official Advertisement Text. Edgewater Cemetery is a property of the Spacer's Choice Company. The Spacer's Choice family takes care of its own, from the cradle to the grave. Gravesite, plots, and headstones are provided by Spacer's Choice at an affordable rate. Comfortable spacious plots, custom engraved headstones and monograms, comp complimentary eulogy courtesy of the Order of Scientific, Scientific Inquiry, let your spirit rest in the privacy of a Spacer's Choice brand gravesite. Inventory logs. Burial. Hack 1. Hey, I'm getting experience! Theodore Granger, cause of expiration, industrial accident, burial status successfully interred in gravesite 13F. Gravesite fees paid and accounted in humor's addendum. Teddy's corpse was missing a hand. Deducted five bits from gravesite fee because I'm a kindly fellow. <laughs> oh my god, that's that's fucked. There's so many shovels. Oh no, that's a spade. Then there's a shovel. I can't go taking everything because you know. 
weight capacity. Also, about to be ending the first episode, so... These episodes are going to be an hour long. Probably should be more, but, like, I'm lazy. That's basically it. you can respec inside your ship. That's pretty cool. Your ice cream tip could be here. <laughs> they had an advertisement in the loading screen. If you're falling sick, I don't want you near me. Don't worry. I wouldn't do that to you. Oh. Joyce Cantina discovered. Hello. I don't know you. I'm Lucas. <laughs> I could lie, could say excuse me. I'm Lucas. Amelia Kim, Spacer's Choice Beverage Dispenser. I don't know what you're about, but this here is a Spacer's Choice drinking establishment. We're all loyal, hard-working company folk here. So you're not going to serve me a drink? Something going on here that I should know about? What a fine establishment. What a fine establishment it is. You really think so? <laughs> That's kind of you. I've been trying to keep the floors clean. You got no idea how long it takes to scrub the tiles. Hmm. Guess I misreckoned you. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be curt. We just got some problems lately. I can get you a drink if you'd like. Gotta ask you to enjoy your beverage within the premises, though. Can't risk you bringing a drink over to those deserters. You understand. Fine by me. Or what's this about deserters? <sighs> Traitors. The lot of them. Bunch of folks decided they were tired of working and went out into the wilds to fend for their own selves. Town's already struggling to make quotas, even without that band of slackwits abandoning their posts. Bunch of lazy, shiftless rung leeches. Anyway, enough about them. What can I do for you? I'll have a drink. Coming right up. Merchant skill is equal to the value of your best dialogue skill and is used to negotiate prices when buying and selling. Sell. God damn. Power. Oh, Jesus. I didn't even. Hack computers. I didn't know if I had any junk to sell. Repair armors. Oh, this is just a melee weapon? Oh, let me get rid of that. Why does she only have alcohol? What the fuck? Alright, well, thank you. What was your name again? Amelia. Cannery worker, Winslow. Never seen you here before. You a visitor? Welcome. On behalf of the Spacer's Choice family, let me welcome you to... To, uh... Where am I again?
Edgewater. Edgewater, jewel of the Vale. May the law bless our beloved cannery with a hundred years of, uh, what's it called? Productivity. That's the one. Yep, that's us. Productive. <laughs> I think you've had a little too much to drink. Oh, it's fine. I I'm only on my third bottle. I don't start heaving up my guts as long as I can count to three. Company lets me imbibe as much zero-g brew as I can afford. Even gave me a discount on account of my injury. You jealous yet? No. You were injured? Yep. Got my mitt stuck in a rotor wheel. Shredded my wrist up real good. Conrad went and sewed up my hand, but I couldn't do much about the pain. Boss was real generous to me, though. Got myself a 5% discount on zero-g brew. After the second bottle, the only pain I feel is emotional. <laughs> you sound like you need a surgeon. Hey, Conrad's a surgeon. Well, he's a barber. That's like surgery, but for your hair. I'll leave you be. Why did everyone get up? Well, let's save this game. Go ahead and override a save. I'll end this first episode here. Got a little nice introduction. Know that the game's going to be... I know that the game is considered... Considered? Considered comedic, but also eventually it gets to where it's more dark comedy than just straight comedy. But, um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, for the first episode. If you're watching this on Twitch... Be sure to go to youtube.com forward slash the lyrical saint if you want to catch anything else I have there. If you're watching this on YouTube and you want to see it live, go to twitch.tv forward slash the lyrical saint. Also, if you're watching this on YouTube and you want to see more stuff that I've done, there will be a link in the description below taking you to my playlist and my Twitch. But other than that, thanks for watching, guys. Tune in to the next video of Let's Play The Outer Worlds. Thanks for watching, guys.